Yes. In the previous video, I briefly stated the editing software that I use for my pictures. Adobe Lightroom, that's the software. Um, and I pretty much went over it a little bit, just kind of a glance. And today we're gonna dive in a little bit deeper and give you the ins and outs and just a summary of how Adobe Lightroom works running. Adobe Lightroom is very user friendly. If you know me, you know I like the user friendly stuff. I don't have time to be looking or have time to try to figure it out. I need something that's gonna work for me as soon as I get on there. Cool. So um, I'm going to pretty much go in the ins and out, just pretty much like just a basic rundown of how the software, the editor software works and just how it does with pictures. So for this screenshot, I didn't really, um, I didn't really screenshot the whole screen, so you really can't see what I'm doing. But I explain what I was doing. So what I was doing is I went to a, a tab called the Healing Brush. So the Healing Brush, you can pretty much like increase the opacity of the heel. So you put the, you pretty much put your mouse, put it there, put it where you would want it, where, where you wanted to heal from. So you find somewhere that's a lot smoother and go to your opacity. You see how you see how that is going back and forth. Do you see that the little the little mark? Yes. You see how it disappears when you move the 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 healing brush opacity around. So now you find the best place in their skin that is similar to the one you're trying to replace, and you can go ahead and replace that. Like right now, I'm doing the eyes, and I have to find somewhere in the body that has the same skin tone of the eye. And what's a better place to find it is gonna be somewhere around the eyes. And that replace that solves it. So I'll go straight. You can increase the brush or decrease the brush. And you see I'm going over to the next spot right now. I just click it one time, boom. Replace that to another skin. That didn't work. So I did it one more time and replace that with another skin. Boom. Now that's done. You see how that's done? So you pretty much just do that uh, just do that around every blemishes or like spot or pimples or stretch marks. Some of the sometimes the clients say, hey, can you take that off my skin? I don't want that. You just go ahead and do it. You can even edit eyebrows. You know, sometimes you know you have a client say, hey my eyebrows are not done. I tell them, I got you. Just let me just come through. I'll take this picture and I'll get your eyebrows done in post. And that's what I'm doing right now for this client. This client didn't ask for it, but I'm just giving an example. If that was the case, you can go in and edit the eyebrows. You can make it sharper. You can make it look smooth. You can just you can make it thicker if you want. You know, just 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 a, a couple of things. And also, you can go back to like the the, the exposure, the contrast, highlights. And now, now I went ahead and did the you know, edit the screen. You know, shape the screen very well. So you go to contrast, exposure, highlights. You can pretty much like play with that however you want it. Some clients they want their picture darker tone. Some clients they want their pictures really really bright. Um, I'm not a big fan of really bright pictures, but some clients want their pictures really bright. They want the skin tone to be so light, and uh, you know. So, but some clients you know you black on white. You can go all the way with the black on white. You can come back if you want to put a little color. You know, you want to get the clarity like really, really sharp or, you know, pale. You can go ahead and get the texture, move that around. Texture, you know, smooths the picture a lot more and also distort the pictures and that's it. And you're done. See, now you just switch this back to the original and then back to the regular. You see the difference? Another one I want you to take a look at is um, I did a maternity shoot and um, I pretty much just went in there into the healing brush and zoom into what I really want to edit. Sometimes um, clients that do have bags under their eyes and they might want you to, you know, to edit that or remove it. You know, some clients don't really care for it, but I try to offer both. You know, if you want to add, you know, the the bags under your eyes to be taken off and I could go ahead and take that off. Again, I'm playing around with the opacity of the healing brush to see how much heal I want to happen or I want to get done. 
So what I do is I draw around the place that I would like. In this situation, I want to edit his sideburns. I kind of want to mix, I want to get it like a little sharper. Make it look like he just got a haircut, like he just came back from the barber, like straight from the straight from the barber, straight to the photo shoot. And that's what I was trying to do there. Got that done. So now I'm going straight to the eyes and try to get the um the the bags, you know, replaced by, you know, with the with the skin tone on the eyes so it matches. See how I got that done? Got that replaced. So now I'm going ahead and replace, um, you know, smoothing the skin a little bit. Find a skin that's best closest to the one, so it's cheekbones. So now I see, you see that little red mark? Yep, the red, yep, take, get rid of that one as well. Find something closer, get rid of the next one as well. Mm-hmm, and that's done. That is done. All right, so you see, I'm trying to get that, get those, you know, the, the other side of the eyes and to get that smoothing up a little bit. So we're gonna replace that with the nearest skin. So you see there's a this discrepancy with the skin. So what I'm doing, I'm doing it again, underneath the one I just did and boom, move that up a little bit, boom. That's it, that's done. For the most part, you don't wanna edit too much to make it, you wanna make it look natural as possible. Uh, all right, another example, you know, I did a, 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 a traditional wedding and I have a client with some, you know, you know, some facial blemishes and some pimples and just things that, you know, you would want to edit on a picture. So I'm going back and forth, you know, the opacity increasing and decreasing, just find a way that I'm going to make this natural. So the client don't look like the picture, so it doesn't look like the picture is way too edited. Half of my client don't really care for the pictures to look like it is in a magazine. They just want a nice edited pictures so I don't try to go too crazy with these pictures you know like for example the bags under the eyes we will, we want to get rid of some of it you don't want to get rid of everything you want to just get rid of enough just to look natural and look good and in this case it was trying to get from the from the forehead but I don't want the skin to from the forehead it's not matching so I'm gonna go to ones that's underneath our eyes and you see I got some discrepancy with that so what I'm gonna do is I have to match it again. So I had to start from the beginning in this case because I didn't like what I was getting. So I had to go all the way under the eyes, make sure I cover everything very well, then brought it down to the skin to the underneath down. And then boom, we fine. So increase, decrease the opacity just to make it look good. Boom. So we've done with it. We're done with this picture now, right? So we want to go ahead and push this off and save this. So we go ahead and click that. So you don't want to go to custom set. You don't want to go to JPEG small. You want to go to JPEG large. JPEG large. Not original. Original was take the pictures back to how it was before. You want to go to JPG large because it has 100% quality. And you go ahead and select your destination for your pictures. And then you go ahead and export. That's it. That's just a few bases of Adobe Lightroom that I use for my pictures. Um, if you have any questions on how to do certain things, where to find certain things, and things that I didn't cover in this video, reach out to me in the comment section. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, today's video is a quick one. We're just gonna go over that, and and we're done. That's it. That's the video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I don't know what you're waiting on. Every week we're dropping videos. Now go ahead and like and subscribe to this video. Thank you.